Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the new Iridex True Focus Laser Indirect Ophthalmoscope. As the new Iridex True Focus Laser Indirect Ophthalmoscope is battery operated, uh, the first thing you'll need to do before using it the first time is attaching the battery. The battery attaches to the back of the headband as attached by placing it over the band adjustment knob and locked into place. If you need to remove it, just do the opposite and it comes off. Once you have the battery in place, you need to connect the illumination control to the battery. That's done with this connector and you're done. At that point, you're adjusting illumination with this control knob right here. In connecting your Iridex True Focus laser indirect ophthalmoscope, you have a single fiber with a white RFID connector. The fiber should have the red protective cap on the end. Before you connect to the laser, you wanna remove the dust cap and attach to typically the number two laser port. The laser ports are indicated number one number two, and typically you'll attach the laser indirect ophthalmoscope to port number two. Line up the fiber in the middle of the port, push in, thread it on, and when you feel resistance, stop. At that point, the laser should recognize the indirect. If it's only recognizing port number one, you can touch the port button on top of the screen and it'll go to port number two, and it should recognize the laser and dark ophthalmoscope at that point. Let's cover the various uh, features and controls of the uh, True Focus. You have the illumination control on the right. You have the position knob on the top, which loosens the entire optics body and allows you to adjust vertically as well as inboard and outboard. On the right side, we've retained the filters for examination use or clear for laser use. On the opposite side, you have illuminated uh, spot size control, small, medium, and large. And each one of these, you need to be clicked in for both the filter or non-filter as it were, and illuminated spot size. Otherwise, you'll get a partial view looking through the oculars. The control knobs on left and right will control the illuminated field vertical adjustment. They're identical for left and right. There's a control knob on the bottom that will control your laser aiming beam vertical adjustment. In focusing the indirect and adapting to you, you'll need to set, and it's critical that you set the pupillary distance on each ocular. Each ocular will work independent, so you need to adjust each one independently. Placing this and putting the indirect in place, it's imperative that you have the optics body as close as possible to your line of sight, as opposed to this. This is what you should be looking at. If you have to, you can adjust the vertical height of the optics body with a large control knob up, down, in, or out. At this point, you want to set the pupillary distance. What you want to do is adjust one ocular at a time since they work independently. You'll close one eye, adjusting the right ocular, about a 15 inch focal plane from your thumb to the optics body. Close the left eye, keep the right eye open, and slide the ocular left or right until such time as uh, you, you have that, uh, your target in the middle of your field of view. Doing just the opposite, close the right eye, adjust the left ocular, same way. At that point, if it's properly adjusted, you should be able to easily read print at about 15 inches. In adjusting your illuminated field, as well as the aiming beam, the vertical adjustment for the illuminated field are the levers 
left and right. Again, we're using about 15 inches as far as our focal length and adjusting either side until the illuminated field is in our center of view. At that point, either activate the laser with the aiming beam or if it's already on, you have a control knob right here. This is different than the original Iridex laser and direct ophthalmoscopes. To adjust the vertical orientation, you just twist clockwise or counterclockwise until it's centered into your illuminated field. You're gonna have a lot of practices that eventually will have both the new true focus as well as the legacy or the older style single mirror Iridex laser and direct ophthalmoscope. What you need to know in working with your surgeons is that they're used to inherently just intuitively using the older style indirect. It's a single mirror system. It allows you to adjust the aiming beam within the illuminated field and then you adjust both simultaneously. The difference with the true focus is that you have a two mirror system and with that you have the illumination coming in from the top mirror and you have the laser aiming beam and treatment beam coming in from below. There's a little further edification on, on a couple of the differences between the new true focus and the legacy. The surgeons will know how to do this for the most part. The true focus knobs are just a little different. But basically the way they'll set this up, once they put the indirect on their head, uh, you'll have, you'll either turn on or the illumination will be on and what they'll do is center the illuminated field in the middle of their view. Laser aiming beam is not already on. Turn it on. If it is on, you make the adjustment to bring that aiming beam into the center of the illuminated field. Now the difference between the true focus and the legacy or the older style is that the newer true focus allows you to adjust the illuminated field left and the right knobs here. They both do the same thing. The big difference is your surgeons will not be familiar with adjusting the vertical nature of the aiming beam, laser aiming beam, which is here. On the legacy, the way you would do this is the illuminated field is adjusted with these knobs left and right. They do the same thing. And then the aiming beam adjusted with the smaller knobs at the top, left and right. Once that aiming beam is within that illuminated field, you can adjust both simultaneously by going back down to the illuminated field adjustment, the larger knobs, and it will move both simultaneously. That's the big difference for the initial adjustment for your surgeons.